Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Sulamita. Nice to see you for the first time. Face reveal. I know. Oh, my God. Are you Salvadorian? <laughs> I'm born in Switzerland, but I live here since I was one year and a half. Oh, okay. I was just kidding, but yeah, you you look you look uh, European. <laughs> Chalateca. <laughs> you look Chalateca, yeah. <laughs> so, oh my God, that's uh, that's good. I, you never know who's uh, who's here. Very good. I'm glad to have who's you here. Who's behind? So, um, so how well do you speak, do you speak Spanish? No, I speak Spanish very well because I'm here since I was one year old. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were born in Switzerland. I born there, but nothing more. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds yes. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. And your parents there are are they Salvadorian or are they? My uh, mother is Switzerland. It's Swiss, and my dad is Salvadorian. Oh, okay. All right. I see. That's why. Hey, that's good. Well, like every time that we have like during like the last week is the face revealed, you know. <laughs> We have we 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 still need to see Roxana. Hey Roxana, what's up, Roxana? Hello, teacher. How are you? When are you gonna do your face reveal? My what? Oh, your face reveal. <laughs> Soon, teacher. When the quarantine is finished. <laughs> when the quarantine is over. All right, it's very over. good. Very good. How are you guys? How are you? How are you, Oscar? All good? All good. I'm fine. Good. Uh, good job. Doing well. All right, all right, very good. All right. What about you, uh, Mauricio Enrique? How are you doing? How are you, you hanging there? Very well, teacher. How are you today? I'm good, man. I'm good, all right. Just, uh, you know, uh, kind of tired because I've been working the whole day, but I'm good, you know. You have to be positive, right? How many classes did you, de did you give? Um, so here in Inglés Corporativo, too. Uh, and then I got four more classes of two hours at another place. <laughs> yeah, I worked, I work at, um, I work at E4C, too, you know. But, um, so yeah, uh, so I got like, like two places. I've been working like the whole day. It's kind of tiring, but you know, um, then got to have a job, right? All right. Is okay. like, like with this situation, guys, getting a job from home, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. So, Oscar, how how are you doing with your job, man? Well, I'm tired. I'm, I came home uh, today at uh, three p.m. Three p.m. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Yes, man. I I I. I, I today bet. I won't, I'm going to sleep well at home. What What about you, Anita? Ah. Uh, uh, today I was working in in home of office all day. Okay, mm -hmm. Mama. <laughs> all right, great, 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 great. Okay. All right, so uh, very good. Okay, so what about you, Irene? Good evening. I am good teacher. Thanks, and you? Great, actually, great. All right, um, just hang in there. What about you? Um, well, okay, so a lot of people are here already. <laughs> All right, Roxana, what's up? Right? What can you tell me from your day today? What's up? How are you, how, how are you holding up? For today? Yes. Oh. Uh, in my house? Wait, well, I, I was out of my house. I had to go to the to my job. Okay. For for a few a few hours and then I come back to home. Okay, you came back home. I came back. Home. I came I back came home. Back. <laughs> yes, I came back home. Came I back came home. back home, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, really good, guys. Okay, so we're gonna finish, guys. We're gonna finish um, the platform today, so we can focus tomorrow and Thursday on solving uh, the final the final exam. Okay. okay. Um. So, because I'm not going to help you with the final exam, okay? So, uh, you got five to seven minutes to finish this exercise. Well, actually, five minutes, guys, to finish this exercise. Okay, it's really easy. So, let's go a lot, guys, and work on this. Thank you guys for being here early, and let's get to work. Okay. All right? All right. 
All right, let's go. Hello, Veronica. Hello. What's Good. up? What's up, Ray? Why are you not? Oh, okay, you just came in. Okay, I'll get you. I'll get you together with somebody right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Our answers. Oh, all right. Uh, number one is disaster. Yes. The luxury ship Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in 1912. That is considered a disaster. Do you think before 1912 was in? <laughs> I have. Pass. Thank you. Pass. It's, a, it's a disaster, right? Right. Yes. Okay, okay. go ahead with number two, Roxy. Oh? Okay. That was in 1912. Okay, 1912. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, number two. The cellular telephone was developed in Sweden about 25 years ago. Is invention. Uh, invention. Yes, invention. Okay. invention. Okay. Okay, number three, Frank. Uh, let me see, Roxy, because I, I, I'm not in platform right now. Ah, okay. Okay, four planes were hijacked in the U.S. on September mm -hmm. 11. Mm -hmm. It's 5.4, uh, right? 20, 5.5. Ah, 5.5, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, number three. Uh, number three, number three. Uh, if you want to finish, Oscar, number three. A terrorist attack. All act. right. Terrorist, yeah, act. Terror act. Terrorist, act. Act. Okay. terrorist attack. Terrorist attack. At okay, number four, Frank. Uh, discovery in 2003 the dinosaur with feather with feathers and four wings was found in China. Discovery, mm -hmm. a discovery. Let me see. Yes, since late the 1970s, HIV has infected an estimated uh, with feathers and four wings was found, found in China. Yeah. In, uh, disaster. No, with no. freedom for wings. What? No, it is a discovery. Discovery. Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Since the uh, since the late nineties nineteen seventies, HIV has infected an estimated. 55, 58 million people, that is epidemic. epidemic. <laughs> yes. Number six, U.S. President John uh, Kennedy was shot to death in 1963. Yes. Um, assassination. 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 Yes. And in 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and the Sherp Share patents in Oregon were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Mm. The achievement. The first one, achievement. Achievement. Okay. Yeah. Submit. <laughs> and we're going to have 100. Congratulations, Elamita. <laughs> yeah. Finish, teacher. Finish. Yeah, we are done. Ah. <laughs> uh, we are a good team. Do you hear me? Now? Ah, no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear. I'm sorry, you were not able to hear me. I was, 
I was muted. I, I'm so sorry. Yes. Uh, all right. That was five minutes exactly. So let's head back. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. Uh, all right, very good. Thank you for coming back. All right. So, did you all finish, guys? Yes. We did. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All good. Yes. Good. 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 Okay. All right. Super good, guys. Super good. Okay. All right. So let's see the answers. So who wants to start? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. All right. Who said? Who said me, teacher? I don't know who me, teacher is. Roxana? Me, Roxy. All right. Hey, Roxana. <laughs> all right. I'm glad that you're participating again. Right. Yeah. All right, Roxana, let's go. What's the answer for number one? I need you to read the whole sentence, okay? Okay. The luxury ship Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean, 1912. All right, now, guys. All right. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Now, well said. that X, the, the X, guys, sounds like a... Sh luxury. 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 Right, luxury. Ship. Sure. Right, Ship. good job, good job, right? And the answer Ship. was, I'm sorry, disaster, right? Disaster. All right, one clap for, one clap for Roxana? For me, for me, thank you, thank you. All right, very good, very good, right? <laughs> All right, Roxana, pick someone. Uh, Oscar. Okay. Oscar, let's go, Oscar. <laughs> the, the cellular telephone was developed in Sweden about 25 years ago. It's an invention. Okay, it is an invention. Good job. One clap for Oscar. All right, good job. All right, uh, number three, Oscar, pick someone else. Uh, let me check. David. David. David, all right. David, let's go, David. Number three, all right. Number three. Her planes were hijacked in the United States on September 11th. 2001. Okay, all right. Attack. Uh -huh. Terrorist attack. It's a terrorist yes. attack. Okay, terrorist. guys. Remember, any endings, right? All right. Hijacked. 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 Okay, hijacked. Yeah. Yeah. Hijacked. Hijacked means like kidnap. Kidnap. Uh, hijacked means like kidnapping. Like, okay. Kidnapping. Right? Good, Good job. But it's just in, uh, just in plain, David. I'm sorry, what was your question? And um, hijack is used just for planes? I believe yes. No, no, no. For, uh, you, can, you can say General. hijacked my car. Uh, so you no can one use used like, that. You can use it for like other vehicles, for example. Okay? But no hijacked. one used that. Or yes, they it. use that. They say hijacked, okay? But hijack, yes. you cannot hijack a people, a, a person, I'm sorry. You cannot uh, hijack a people. You have to hijack a vehicle. Uh, and, when we, a vehicle. and when we want to say about people, a kidnap. Kidnap, kidnap. yes. All right, that, that would be kidnap. Right. Yes. The teacher was kidnapped. <laughs> the teacher, okay. but, but, but I want I want to be kidnapped by like I don't know Scarlett Johansson. Right? <laughs> Good job, right? So uh, number four, let's go, Sulamita, let's go. In 2003, a dinosaur with feathers and four wings was found in China. Okay. Uh, so. I will give you my. Answer is discovery. Discovery, discovery. discovery. Okay, all right. Discovery. And what pronunciation, guys? Dinosaur. 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 All right. Dinosaur. Now, with these type of word, the words, guys, okay, the reason why. So, this word, guys, right, it depends on the, the amount of syllables. If the syllable was thin, right, this right here, this would be read thin, right? But the syllable uh, is die, right? So the, if the syllable ends uh, in the vowel I, guys, you have to pronounce like the, like like the regular sound I, right? Die, Dina, right? Dina, Dina, right? Dina, dinosaur. The A and the U, guys, always sound like kind of like an O, okay? Dinosaur. Dinosaur, right? Dinosaur. 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 All right, one more time, Sulamita, one more time. In 2003, a dinosaur with 
dinosaur with feathers and four wings was found in China. All right, now pronunciation, guys. Feathers. 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 Okay, what are feathers, feathers. guys? Plumas. No, it's not plumas. It's it's like plumas. Yeah, plumas. plumas. I don't know how to I was gonna do my Pluma. interpretation of a uh, plume. <laughs> good job, guys. All right, good job, right? That's why I'm not a painter and I teach you. Yeah, you're a you're a Picasso. Man. I I do paint though. I do paint. I like painting. I like painting and drawing too. Uh, but not on the computer. I don't do it like with the mouse. You know? All right. Uh, number five. Number five. So let me pick someone. Uh, Eneida. Eneida. Let's go, Eneida. You were muted, all right? Let's go. Uh, uh, Seria Sans delayed in the 1970s, HIV uh, has infected an estimate um, uh, 5 8 million people. Okay, we have, we have, thank you very much. Hey, okay, hey, clap for, clap for, and Two claps, guys. Two claps. All right, now, now. All right, clap for me, guys, because the pronunciation. Work at the pronunciation, okay? Clap for me. The pronunciation. Pronunciation. All right, everyone, sense. 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 All right, guys, that's sense, okay? These guys, sin, like sin, pecado, right? Just remember pecado, right? Sense, right? Sense. And then these, these sounds like an S, right? Sense. Right. Sense. Sense. All right. Sense. And then late. Hey, one late. 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 All right. This is called HIV. 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 Which is in Spanish. Which is in Spanish. Right. Exactly. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's no, AIDS. 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 Exactly. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh -huh. All right, infected. Infected. Estimated. 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 One more time, Anita. All right, let read it one more time, Anita. Seventy. Okay, remember seventies, right? Seventies. Seventies. HIV has infected. And estimate uh, by eight million people. Okay, you need to read estimate. Estimate. Estimated. 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 Fifty-eight Estimated. million people. Good job. Applause for Renee, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job. Okay, what is the answer for this? It's uh, epidemic. Epidemic. It's epidemic, okay? Good job, right? That's an epidemic. All right. Uh, what happened to the choo choo? All right. All right. <laughs> What's up with the dog, right? What? Choo choo. All right, good job. All right, so what is the eye? Right, number six, number six. Me, teacher, me, teacher. Let's go. Let me hear you. They, uh, no, Jose, Jose, Jose. Let's go, Jose. <laughs> Okay. Number six, U.S. President John F. Kennedy was shot the death in 1953. And was shot to death. Was shot, 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 shot to death. death. All right, death. and the answer for this? Assassination. Is, uh, assassination. 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 Right. Good job. And the last one, right? Let's 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 see the last one, all right? Uh Fatima Campos, let's go. The last one? Yes, the last one. In nineteen fifty three, Sir Edmund Hillary and the Sherpa Dancing Norgay were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Good job, and this is it is um <laughs> Um, achievement. 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 An achieve. An achievement. 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 You, got, you have very good pronunciation, Fatima. Good job. Applause for you guys. Applause for Renee and Fatima. Good job, girls. Good Thank job. you. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay, so let's try to.
Let's try to wrap this up. Everyone, wrap, wrap this up. Wrap. <laughs> wrap this up. Wrap, wrap, wrap this up. Okay, what is the meaning of wrap this wrap up, guys? This up. Okay, all right. Yes, it is. But it means to finish an action, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this up, okay? Let's, let's finish this, okay? Let's wrap it up, all right? All right, guys. So help me read the instructions, Roxana. No, Roxana. Isaac Molina. Let's go, Isaac Molina. Isaac. All right, Moises, let's go, Moises. By the end of this section, participants will be able to predict future using weird, future continuous, and future perfect. Good job. Okay, remember, guys, when you're reading, Read ahead. What do you have to do? Read ahead. Read ahead. Read ahead. Okay. Ahead. Ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm using my mouse. So it's it. Okay. So always read ahead, guys, so that you sound fluent. Okay. You're gonna sound like this. So my eye, my mouth is like here, guys, and my eyes are already here. Right? Mm -hmm. By the end of this section, participants will be able to predict the future using will, future continuous, and future perfect. You see. There is a comma and there is a period there, all right? So you don't miss that if you talk with me, right? All right, guys, so let's talk about predicting the future. Do my favorite, guys, whoever has... All right, there is, there is like this note. There is the background noise, guys. Let me mute you all, okay? If you want to participate, guys, just unmute yourself. Okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on, all right? <laughs> all right. Very good, very good, very good. All right, it's okay, it's okay, guys, right? Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about predicting the future. Let me, there you go, there you go. This is the part I wanted to get at. All right, super good, guys. So grab your notebook, guys, your notebooks. Okay, grab your notebooks right now, right? All right, so we can use will. We can use will for what, uh, Sulamita? You're muted. Remember that you're muted. To predict future events or situations. Okay, right. Remember to sit up, right? Like sit, sit up, right? Very good. Right? To predict future events or situations. And what situations? Repeat again. Okay, very good. You're muted, guys. Situations. 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 Uh, it's not. It's not like in Spanish. Yes. It's not like in Spanish, guys. It's not situé. Right, it's not C2A, it's C2A, 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 all right, situations, one more time, Sulamita, use will to predict future events or situations, all right, events, I want events, 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 situations, not situations, 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 okay, use will to predict future events or situations, good job, good job, good job, all right, very good, all right, Sulamita, uh, pick someone, Oscar, all right, Oscar, let's go, Oscar, <laughs> I was... let's go, Oscar, all right, no, don't worry, all right, Oscar, let's go, help me read the first example, Oscar, Hey, where are you, Oscar? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Very good job. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard, okay? All right, guys. So this is basically simple future, okay? Now, all right. Mm -hmm. So far, so good, guys? So far, so good? So far, so good. Yes. So far, so good. Okay, all right. I'm not going to focus too much in the explanation of, of will, guys, because by this... By this point, you should know simple, simple future, right? So this is basically simple future, guys, but we're going to use it to predict the future. Now, guys, okay, there is something that I never see explained um, in any academy, okay? I don't know why, okay? But it is, it is very important because you need to you leave, you actually talk like this. Um, just a quick tip, guys, and if you want, write it down. Very important, okay? Did you know that, guys, that you can use... Um, that you can use um, want to talk about the present. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? It's All right. 
Yes, guys, you can use will not, you can use want to talk about the present. How so, okay? How so, guys, como así, right? Or how come, right? How come, how so, the same thing, right? So how come, guys? And this is just this is just gonna be a real quick example, okay? All right, Oscar, tell me my computer, mi computadora no funciona. My computer won't work. Ex okay, very good, who said that? Who said that? Roxana. Roxana. Roxana, good job, okay? You can, people usually say, say my computer, let's call my PC for sure, right? My PC uh, doesn't work, which is That's correct, guys, okay? But people in America, guys, they would they would say my PC won't work. All right. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see. Mi puerta no abre. Arturo de Leon. Is correct. Uh, both. Both are correct. Yes, both are correct. But but American people would say want instead of doesn't. Okay. All right. So just one. Okay. Right? All right. All right. Uh, how do you say no funciona? How do you say no funciona, Neda? Doesn't work. Okay, all right. People usually say it doesn't work, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, but you can say, oh, it won't work. It won't, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. All right, do not try to translate it, guys, because if you try to translate it, it will say, oh, no funcionará, right? But it doesn't mean that, guys. It means it, it, means doesn't, it doesn't work. Ah, it's so not they the have the same meaning. It's the present. It it's has the present. same meaning. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know. Okay. All right. All right. Now, it's new for me. Now, you can also use it for the future, okay? But in the context, of watch, watch movies. Okay, I recommend you to watch movies. They would say, oh, it won't work, right? No, um, that won't work out. All right, so we use it to talk about to talk about the present. And also, guys, the present, we use it to talk about the past, but that's a different topic, okay? Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. All right, super good. All right. All right, so we can use future continuous for future continuous for what? Um, well done, there is like. All right, guys, uh, do me a favor. Whoever has the TV on, do me a favor and just face yourself because I don't know who it is. Nah, I don't know who has the TV on. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. All right, guys, hold on. We're going to meet you. All right, guys, so, all right, so uh, future continuous. Okay, what do we use future continuous for in this situation? Um, da, da, is, da, 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 da. Tell me, huh? Uh, is future continuous to predict ongoing action is when you're predicting something that is not ended. It's going and going on, I think. Okay, exactly. So people, exactly, it's an ongoing action, right? All right, help me read. Uh, well, just read it, Sulamita, go. Uh, people will be living in cities under the ocean. Very good. Okay, when people will be living in cities under the ocean. Okay, under the ocean. All right. Hey, good job. Good job. Okay. Now, but we're talking about predicting the future. This is not an action that is going on right now. Okay. This will, this is an action that may that may happen. You're making a faith prediction. Okay. So como un profeta. All right. Uh -huh, but doesn't have an end time. It doesn't have an yeah. It doesn't have a, an ending uh, time. Um, you're good. You're 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 right about that. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Who has not participated? Eduardo. Let's go. How are you, Eduardo? All right. Let me help me read the last the last example. Go. Eduardo. Let's go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Good job, okay, all right. And read the example. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. Good by job. 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. Good job, good job. Applause for Eduardo, guys, that was a beautiful. I'm sorry, beautiful pronunciation, man. Thank you. Hey, notice something, guys. This part right here, okay? How do we call that? Make me teacher. Within 15 years, by 2050, how do we call that? No? No one? Okay. It's called a, a one time reference. Time reference. Time reference. Time reference. Time reference, time reference right? 
So hey, what do we use? What do we use the time reference for? Okay, to give a time reference. All right. Hold on. All right. It's true. Yeah. All right, that didn't work. Okay, all right. So it's a time reference, guys. So if we're gonna use future perfect, remember the word perfect, guys. Every time that you see perfect, it means have. All right, let me let me type it in instead. All right. It means to. It means have or had. Okay. Haber o habido. O había, okay? Every time that you see perfect, it is had or had, okay? Very good, guys. So, we'll have discovered. This literally translates to dentro de 20 años, los científicos habrán. Ese habrán, okay? Future perfect es, significa habrán. Si se acuerdan de habrán, no se les va a olvidar. Right? We'll have discovered. Habrán descubierto. Incluso en español, incluso en español guys, utilizamos el, um, uh, el los past participles, okay? Descubierto, right? A cure for boldness. What is the meaning of boldness, guys? It went boldness. Calvice, right? Calvization, right? That's fine. Good job, good job, right? So it's calvice. You're good about that, okay? All right, what is the meaning of uh, set up, guys? Set up. It went set up. Set up. Yeah. All right, these guys, to set up, to set something, guys, guys, is to place something, okay? This translates to establecido okay all right we'll have set up habrán establecido we will have set up human communities on mars hablemos habremos establecido comunidades humanas en marte okay all right any questions guys any questions okay good 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 good, good, good. so far so good all right yeah it's it's uh it's basically a uh, grammar review you know it's, it's not a topic that you haven't seen uh very good guys so let's Fast forward, forward it a little bit. Okay, guys, now do me a favor, guys. Just take a screenshot real quick or write it on your notebook, but I would prefer to take a screenshot so we can move on, okay? So do me a favor, take a screenshot. I'll give you 10 seconds. All right. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, because I needed to have the, the structure for the next exercise. All right. Oops. <coughs> is it, is it okay? All right, guys. So here's basically, guys, in summary, what each of them does. Okay. The, so future continues. Help me read, Anna. Where? Help me read. Continue. Huh? Okay, an ongoing action, okay, an ongoing action, right? But this time around, we're going to use it to predict something, okay? Now, future perfect, all right? Anna, what, what is, uh, so basically what happens with future perfect? Tell me, read. Describe something that will be complete by okay. specific time. By specific time, okay? All right, very good, guys. So, all right. So let's go, guys. Okay, so let's work on the let's work on the exercise, guys, and then I'm gonna give you some time to talk uh, using the topics that we saw right now. Okay, all right. So let's get to work, guys. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, that's a lot of people today. All right, good job. Let's join. All right, let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, let's get to work on exercise 5.8, okay? All right. Yes, of course. Uh, complete these predictions with correct verb forms. You may use will, one, future continuous, or future perfect. In, uh, number one, in 10 years, flights from New York to Tokyo, less than two hours take. In this case, we're going the to. The very same is will yeah. take. It will take. Will All take right. less than two hours. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's see. No. Why no Spanish? One. <laughs> well, Number we'll one. take. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Then uh, we'll continue. To... See, uh, we'll. No, okay. Spanish, Oscar, you're good. Uh -huh. From uh, New York to Tokyo. Will uh, take less take. than two hours. Uh-huh, won't take. 
Oh, Mauricio, I'm sorry. You're alone. I don't know what happened. Let me get you yes, someone, teacher. Mauricio. I'm sorry. So sorry. Yes, teacher. Let's go, right? We'll sell. So they... Good no. job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. So... Uh, we believe... Good job. Good job. You're good not good talking good. Spanish. Good job. We we'll believe, right? We we'll believe in, within fifty years, people will be living on the moon. Okay. In number six, in less than a century, global warming will have melted. Most of the polar ice caps and many coastal cities will have disappeared. I guess. In the number four. The teacher is here, he can help. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, David, we have a, a, some problem with the number four. Sometime in the future, scientists in space, blind space, a machine that trans, transmits our thoughts, I have uh, wrote down, will have invented, will invent uh, and everything with period, with capital letter, and it doesn't work for me. Okay, so how do you write it down? We'll have invented? We'll have invented. Right, and it didn't work? No. Okay. Well, continue. Uh, but it's not we'll have invented, remember? Uh, when, yeah. you use, when you use perfect, you're giving a specific time. So you have to use, so you have to use a different answer, right? It's you, not, it's not we'll have invented. No, right. I'm explaining you that I try a uh, different ways. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Not, I know. It's not the only thing that I just wrote down. The thing is that I, I put will invent, that is, a, that is the, a specific time, will invent, uh, will uh -huh. have invented, uh, just in, yeah, I think it's that that's the only two I have. I wrote okay. down show, show, me, show, me, show me your screen. Show me your screen. Right? If you're saying that you did it, that you know the answer, show me your screen, all right? Uh, let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see what I guess. Here we go. Okay. So, first of all, change the answer because you, that's not the answer, right? Yeah, right. So tell me what's the answer. Okay. Try to hit submit now. <laughs> Voila. All right. Told you, right? You had the wrong answer. Yeah, All right, good, funny, job, good, job, good job. I, I, I did already, man. I'm not lying. I know, man. I know. Don't worry. Okay, good job. All right. So we're good, man. Okay. No Spanish. Ah, it was good. <laughs> Number three. By hey. the middle of the 20, 21st century, science will have discovered a way to prevent scientists aging. aging. I don't know. How are you doing, guys? All good? <laughs> Oh, yes, teacher. Good, teacher. Good, okay, good job, good job, good job. Did you finish? Did you finish? Then, yes. All right, great. Yes. One, one. Let's go back. In less than. In in we did the last one. Oh, you're doing the um, last one. Okay, good job, yes, good job. The last one, yes. We had mail. The last one is. We have melted. We have melted. We we'll have melted. We have melted. Melted. Right, I don't know. Most that might melted. be the answer. My note, right? Most on the polar ice caps. Yeah, that's, and that's many... correct. Yeah. All right, very good, guys. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. I finish. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yo. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, did you guys finish? Yes. yes. Is there anybody who did not finish? I just don't Me, have teacher, one. I have the last one. one. What? Just the last one in the less than a century. Number six. Okay, right. You oh yeah, you didn't finish number six. Who else? So I'm sorry, so Amita, which one did you not have? Uh, the one of invented. Uh, penultima is okay. I don't have number four. Is the one that's, that no, yes, number four. Sometimes in the future scientists, sometimes we'll in the future invent. scientists, will invent. We'll invent. We'll right. invent. Yes, I put the, that. The answer is <laughs> well invent. Well invent. Well invent. But it, ah, thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show the answers if you didn't finish, guys. Okay, so. All right, so th there you go. Those are the answers. Okay? Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. All right, so yes, it is well invent, okay, or well invent. Okay, both of them work, work out just fine, okay? And which one you said you didn't have number six, right? We'll have melted. All right, the answer is we have, we'll have melted. melted. Yeah. All right, I don't think that you made a mistake, guys. I don't know why it wasn't taking the, the answer for well invent, but uh it all worked out at the end okay all right guys so let's uh do, so now no questions did you all finish the exercise can we move on yes so far, i have so a question i have no, a tell question me, tell me tell me okay we are in the last one let me check all right hold on, hold on. Let me global, check. global warming mm -hmm. uh it's a uh, you it, you say that it, okay the answer the correct answer is we'll have mm -hmm. oh, continue uh-huh but uh, global warming is a third person. Okay, we use have or have. Remember. To refer well, to global warming. I, I understand, I understand. So yeah, is it, it is third. Is it? It uh -huh. is third person, but it doesn't matter. It could be it could be first person too. All right, it could be first person. All right, guys, do my favor. Whoever has the TV on. All right, good job. All right, so it could be it could be first person too, guys, right? Um, but remember after a model okay will is a model right mm -hmm. will um will might uh can etc right Ooh. so model verbs okay would would okay sure, would. would could okay so all of these are models after a model the verb always is in base form okay, oh, okay. right because the model the model right here, right? Base form is like, right, pretend that this is Goku, okay? Goku, right? Mm -hmm. Goku, right? Cuando usan un modal se transforma en Super Saiyan, right? It always, mm. it always transforms the verb, okay? It modifies the verb, got it? Okay, got it, <laughs> got, it okay. got it. Very good. Nice so it doesn't matter if it says global warming or Teletubbies or, or I don't know, whatever guys here, okay? It, it's the, the subject you doesn't matter, it's form. always, a super okay, saiyan. Will, will have, right? Will have, right? Wow. Right, good job, good job. Good question, though. All right. Thank you. Super good, guys. Super good, right? All right, so let's move on to the reading. Okay, guys, so I got a, I got a quick game with you here, guys, with, uh, with the reading exercise. All right. So this is what we're going to do, okay? Um, you're going to do two things, okay? We're going to read first, and then you're going you're gonna to tell me what the paragraph was about, okay? What are we going to do, Douglas? What the paragraph is about. And what else? I said two things. Uh, uh, we're going to read. First of all, we're going to read. All right. So we're going to do a competition. Whoever can read the, mo the longest without making any mistakes. Okay. Same as before. All right. But mm. before that, guys, before that, okay? I will help you with the first paragraph. Everyone repeat. More and more often. More and more often. Now, these words, guys, can be pronounced often or often. Both of them are correct, okay? All right, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people. It's used to describe the world and its people. In most villages, everyone knows everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone knows everyone. everyone. Oh, actually, everyone, everyone knows everyone else. Everyone knows everyone else. And the people face the same kinds of problems. 
And the people face the same, same kind, of kind of problem. problem. Okay, problem. good job. So how can the world be be a village when it uh, it is home to more than six billion people? So, so how can the world be a village, a village when it's home to more than six billion, billion people? Political and technological changes in this past century have made the global village possible. Political and technological changes in the past century have made the global village possible. Okay, very good, guys. So it's time for practice, okay? Let's see, all right? So, um... Let's see, right? Uh, me teacher, who wants to start? I need someone with good energy, right? Me teacher, me teacher. teacher. You have to say your name. Oh, that, I think that was Francisco, right? Francisco. Let's go, Francisco. Good, good job. Applause for Francisco, guys. Good job, man, all right? Very great for you. Could you zoom it, please? What? Could you zoom, zoom it? Oh, could I, could I zoom in? Anyone, could you please zoom in? Could you please zoom in? Yes, you have to open your mouth, remember. Okay, good job, guys. All right, so uh, the three, first paragraph, right? Two, one, yes, right. So first paragraph, three, okay. two, one, let's go. Political, political changes. The years following World War II seems to promise peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. However, the promise was soon broken by the Cold War. The star, the trust and tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. Thank you very much. Applause for Francisco, guys. Good job. Okay, good job, right? There were actually two mistakes here, okay? And, and I wanted, I'm sorry, I wanted to read this, but it's okay, right? All right, now, you said tensions, okay? There is no S over here. Where is tension, okay? They want tension. 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 And then you say United States, right? United States. United States. Anyway, United States. You have, to, you, have to, you have to pronounce that T sound, right? T. Right? United States. Other than that, good job. Okay, that was that was actually 22 seconds for Francisco. Plus for Francisco, guys. Good job, Francisco. Okay. 22 seconds with no mistakes. Okay, right. 22 seconds. Okay. Good job, guys. If you make a mistake, correct yourself. Okay. Right. Good job, right? Francisco, pick someone. Go. Um. Oscar. All okay. right, let's go, Oscar. Go. I'm gonna continue. No, this just two... read the first paragraph. Wait, read from the first paragraph up until uh, okay. the second paragraph. Okay. O political changes. The no, news start, follow... start from the first paragraph. Okay, the first part. More and more often, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people. In most villages, everyone Thank knows Thank you very much. Applause, guys. Good job. <laughs> I did it last. Everyone so most. 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 All right. You most. said must, okay? When you say most, must, most. it kind of sounds like when you're saying must, okay? Must. Okay, that's most. must. And this is most. Most. Okay. Most. Most. It's like there is a, there is a, we most, okay? That's most. how you read it. Okay? Good job, good job, good job, okay? All right, good job. So that was nine seconds, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, Francisco, do not last nine seconds. That's not good for you. <laughs> All right, good job, All right? Francisco, uh, I mean, Oscar, Oscar, not Francisco, Oscar, what the hell? Okay. All right, uh, Oscar, pick someone, go. Okay, Eneida. And Neda, let's go. You always choose an Ada, right? No. Neda. <laughs> Neda, let's go, Neda. The first teacher. Teacher. The, the first. The first. The first. The first one. Yes. Okay. Let's go. First. First one. First. More and more often, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people. In most village. Everyone knows everyone. Thank you very much. Applause for Anita, guys. Good job, Anita. Good job, right? All right, pronunciation. Anita, take a look at the S over here, right? Villages. They want villages. 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 All right, there is an S here. Okay? Good job, right, Anita? Anita, 12 seconds. Okay, applause for Anita, guys. Woo, Anita, good job, right? Anita, pick another girl. Let's go. Roxy. Roxana, all right, Roxana, let's go, Roxana. All right, Roxy, let's go, show us. You're one of the best ones, right? All right, let's go, Roxana. Three, two, one, go. 
No. No. Roxana. No. Uh, is anyone home? Uh, no. Hello. <laughs> Are you there? All right, pick someone else. Pick another girl. Pick another girl. Sulamita. All right, Sulamita, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, she's here. Okay, very good. All right, Sulamita, okay. let's go. Three, two, more, one, come on. More and more often, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people. In most village... Good job, guys. Nice. Good job. I was good. <laughs> All right, we just mentioned it. Okay, guys, how do we pronounce this? Yeah. Villages. Villages. No, no. Most. Most. How do we pronounce most. it, Samita? Uh, most. Most. Okay, it's not most. 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 Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Another opportunity. All right. All right. Do we give her another opportunity? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Right. Go ahead. Hey, but this but what was? What was my problem? Most and villages is like no, that. Villages. Just, just, just most. Okay. No, no. Okay. You didn't. You didn't mention villages. Like villages. Right. Most. Okay. Most. Okay. More. Most is okay. Most. More yeah. and more often, the term "global village," village, village, is used to describe the world and its people. In most villages, everyone knows everyone. Else, and the people. Else, and the. Everyone knows everyone else, and the people face the same kinds of problems. So, how can the world be a village when it, it is home to more than six billion people? Political and technological change in the Thank past century. Thank you very much. <laughs> good job, good job. Changes. All right, very good, very, very good. All right, Sulamita, all right. So, uh, congratulations, she did 32 seconds. Good job, Sulamita, good job. Sulamita. Right. Now, right, remember guys, pay attention to what, to what you're reading, okay? Because yes, if it were singular, right? If this was something singular, you could say, you could have said uh, change, right? But it is plural, changes, everyone, changes. 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 Right. How do you say it, Sulamita? Changes. Changes, okay, very good job, okay? That everything else was good, okay? It's just, Focus a little bit when you're talking, okay? And the last person, Sulamita, pick someone, pick someone who is like very confident. I will search because I always took the same. I will search. Let's see. Uh, Ana Hiron. Ana Hiron, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> This is a crucifixion. Uh, <laughs> okay. and, and, and Thank you. Every time, every time that I that I want to be someone, it's like, it's like it's <laughs> again, right? Good job, Anna. Good job, Anna. You're doing good, Anna. Don't worry. Thank you, Anna. Woo. All right, Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna. Let's go, Anna. More and more often, the third global village is used to describe the war and its people. Is Mouse Village. Thank you very much. Applause for Anna, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. So Anna, I, think, I, I don't think that you would make a mistake. It's just that um, I needed to concentrate on what you're reading, okay? Because you said it must. It must. You said, must. This. You said mm -hmm. this, okay? You said, hold on. You said it must. must. It, actually, you said it must. Okay, now. It must. In mouse. In mouse. In mouse. Okay, guys. English, guys. English is a language about smiling. Okay, you have to open your mouth a lot. Okay, so you talk, and also you talk with your throat a lot. Okay, so you talk like with this, and you open your mouth a lot when you're speaking. If you do that, you're gonna sound more American. Got it? So just do that, guys. No, don't talk like like. Oh, nice. David, right now. Yeah, Don't talk like you're talking in French, guys. Okay, open your mouth. Okay. David. David. Yeah, yeah, bad English. Okay. My sister said, "Fala por quê?" Ah, no, I, 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 I don't speak French. I'm I'm learned, Italian, I'm from... no. Oh, you, you speak French in, uh, in Italian? In Italian. Yeah. Hey, that's, good. that's good. Do you speak Portuguese? Ragazzo. No. Você não não sabe como falar português, não? Ah, tá, beleza. Não, não eu não compreendo tudo. <risos> como yeah. você está? Como, é, como você está. Né? E como é um telebú? Ótimo. 
Good job, guys. We're now learning French or Portuguese. Yeah, let's go. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. So. Talk, about, talk about tomorrow. Yes, guys. So, uh, actually, yes, because it's four minutes. Uh, we're, we only have four minutes left. Okay, all right. So, guys, yeah. really good, guys. Uh, tomorrow, guys, we're going to – this is basically the end of Section 5, of course. So, tomorrow, we are going to start with the first part of the final exam, okay? All right. So the first part, guys, I mean, we have two days, guys, so you're, you're in time. Take your time, guys. I am not going to help you with the final exam, so uh, just, just, just start, okay? Also, do me a favor and do not complete it yet so we can do it tomorrow, all right? I will not help you tomorrow with the final exam, but I will help you on Thursday, okay, if you have any questions. And if we finish beforehand, guys, if we finish, if we finish before, then uh, we, can, we can review some topics, okay? We're probably going to review... Um, um, no, there was the topic from yesterday. What was the topic from yesterday? You had an issue with the topic from yesterday. What was it? Well, I'll yes. review it. I, it was, it was, um, uh, what was it? It was, um, oh, referring to time in the past, I think. Uh. Yeah. So referring to time in the past. Okay. So we're going to review that, guys, if we complete the final exam beforehand. Okay. Other than that, guys, um, do you have any questions so far? What is the methodology of the exam? How long do we have to make the exam? Oh, the exam is on the platform, guys. It's listening, uh, correcting mistakes, completing the test, and reading, okay? So it's like four parts. Tomorrow, we're going to do listening and correcting mistakes, and then Thursday, we're going to finish with completing the sentences and, uh, and reading, okay? All right? Uh, guys, remember... Try to, if you want to, if you really want to, like, learn English, try to get someone to practice with, okay? Because uh, that's the best way to learn something, <laughs> right? Like, talking and listening and imitating, right? That's that's the reality, right? Grammar is going to help you, you know, pass your exams, okay? But if you want to, if you're going to get, if you want to get vocabulary, if you want to get more fluent and so on, then get someone, you know? There are, like, a thousand apps for you to download, and uh, practice with other people. Who knows? You know, you might you might know you know the love of your life while you're talking to someone, right? <laughs> no, okay. All right, like green guy, right? Like green card, right? All right, very good, guys. So you're dismissed, guys. Thank you very much for joining, guys. High five. Thank you, guys. Good job. Right? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good home. night too. Good night. Thank you. Thank good night. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Nice to meet you, Sulamita. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>